that we have, these children will come, when they are coming to school, they will not come with anything to eat. So in most cases, we buy biscuits and keep in the, uh, in the class with the class teachers so that they will be able to attend to those ones that do not eat as they come to school. Uh, I'm standing right in front of Christian Faith Model College and Christian Faith Excellence uh, Children Academy. Watch this video to the end because this is a school that is started in the environment. I'll be showing you clips of the environment and every the way it looks and everything that is happening here. And um, this school is really doing a lot. It's really, really doing a lot. I mean, just the school is based here in just and the environment where they are is called Abatwa. And um, they are really helping the children in the environment. They are giving them, uh, giving some of them scholarship. You know, some of them cannot even afford the little school fees that they are asked to pay here. But the owner of this school has a heart. She has a heart and she's really working so hard to help children in this community. So you come with me while I go into the compound and show you. Um, this place is actually a residential area. In fact, this is her house and she decided to start the school here so that she can help the community. So come with me. Uh, my name is Deborah James. I'm the school administrator for Christian Faith Excellent Youth Academy and Middle College. My name is Mrs. Sarah Statmark. I'm the school accounting officer for Christian Faith Model College and Christian Faith Excellent Children's Academy. Most of the time, even the school fees, we are charging just a stipend, you know, but most of the times the parents are begging because they cannot even afford it. I'm Mrs. Fala Shari Adeleke. I'm the head teacher of Christian Faith Excellent Children Academy at Abatua Jones. My name is Ogolu Chukudi. I'm the principal of Christian Faith Modern College School. Our present challenges are resources to be able to cater for these children. We need financial resources. We need material resources. We need human resources. If we have uh, financial resources, we'll be able to meet the need of these children. We'll be able to give them issue books to them. We'll be able to attend to their school fees when their parents fail. We'll be able to also, you know, meet their feeding needs. Sometimes we have to buy biscuits, keep in the office and meet the needs of these children when they come without any food. And we also need, you know, classrooms, additional classrooms. Since the secondary school is also here in the same place, if we have uh, resources, we'll be able to, at least, we need to deck some classes so that you know, we will be able to have additional classes. And when we have the resources, we'll be able to also take, you know, buy another land so that this secondary school will move out of this place and this place will be for just the primary and nursery classes. You know, if we have the uh, human resources, the uh, human resources people that will help assist in taking these children and teaching them, we'll be able to at least pay the, uh, their salaries. We will also be able to do help uh, uh, take care of those ones that have been withdrawn from school who are also just at home. You know, it pains my heart to see that most of the times it's not that the parents will withdraw them and take them to another school. They are just at home. But with the resources, I will be able to take care of these children, bring them back to school even if the parents cannot afford it. Thank you. So this is an SS1 class. For now, they only have one student. And uh, you can see that the class is actually one class, but it's demarcated. So this is JSS2 class. It's part of the demarcation. It's one class, but uh, because of the insufficient space, the class is demarcated. The other side is an SS1 student, and then this side is the JSS2 student. How are you students? Yeah. So how are you students? Don't worry, let's eat your biscuit. <laughs> what class is this? Yes, one. Yes, one. Okay. All right. 
So good morning, pupils. How are you? What class is this? Primary five. Primary five. Yes. Are you just four? Yes. Are you four in number? Yes. Okay. So that's it. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. So how are you, pupils? Five. What class are you? Primary four. Primary four. Yes. I hope you are enjoying yourselves here. Yes. Okay. This is like the school chapel, but because of the lack of classes, primary four have to come here and use this place for their classes. So this is it. This is their class teacher. Well done. Now. All right. How are you, pupils? What class is this? Primary three. Primary three. Okay. How are you enjoying yourself? Fine. You're fine? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you, ma'am. How are you, pupils? How are you? What class are you? Primary two. Primary two. I hope you are enjoying your class. Yes. Okay, take care of yourself. Hmm? Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. How are you, pupils? Fine. What class are you? Primary one. Primary one. Are you enjoying yourselves? Yes. Okay. So this is primary one. Odd one. Out of all this words that we have written. The, the hard one. Now let's look at number one. Let's read it together. Let's go. Three, chair, table, ruler. Then number two. Head, eye, nose, car. Then number three. Water, oil, ink, and sky. Hello, pupils. Hello, pupils. Uh, how are you? You're fine. What class are you? Nursery two. How are you? How are you? What class are you? Nursery one. You what class are you? <laughs> so this is um <coughs> this is the <laughs> this is where the school uses for her for her crash like a daycare this is where and these are the children that are here for now are they just four okay they are six okay how are you? You're fine. Hey, hey, baby. How are you? How are you? What is your name? Eh? What's your name? Isaac. What about you? What's your name? Anna. Anna. <laughs> so this is their nanny that takes care of them. Are you the only one? Are they two? Okay. Okay. So that's it. The major thing that it is all about is so that I saw, you know, the environment that we are. M many of the children, even the parents, cannot afford the school fees. If you see the pictures of the environment, you get to see them. We are in a residential area. area and in that environment, most of the children, you see them hanging around. You see them not going to school. They have been driven from school. So when we started, you discover that most of the time, you know, the desire I have is to reach out to such children. And as we started, I think the first thing was I employed two hands, and I was also 
a teacher there. So that was, that is presently, you know, we have, you know, the, 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 we touch the life of the children in that environment. And because of that, the school fees is just a stipend. So far, the children that have enjoyed from that scholarship, they are at different levels. Depending on how the children, you know, the parents are able to afford. So, so far, the students that have passed through this school that are enjoying whether part scholarship or full scholarship are over 50. So far, when you insist, you discover that they, the next thing is that they will remove the children and take them somewhere. And most of the children, as they withdraw them, they will just be at home. So, but then we need that small stipend to be able to keep the school running and to also sustain the staff. It's comprising of the teaching staff, nannies, cleaners, and all in all. So that is the staff strength. So we need all those resources, no matter how little, to run the school. So that is it. <laughs>